Many people will not bother about what is a topic and what is ins inside exactly. Uh, generally, whenever we read any topic, what we will see, what is required for us, what will be the use to uh, use of uh, using this uh, uh, technology. So generally, we are very familiar with uh, Spring. But uh, any time did you think what is exactly difference between IOC and DA? This is mostly uh, uh, googled. Uh, many people want to know about this one. So I posted this uh, question with some answer. But I got uh, many replies saying like please can you explain more. So I want to take that opportunity to explain using this YouTube. Uh, many people will think like that IOC and DA are same but it's both are different. So see IOC is invasion of control give, means giving control to the container to get instance of object is called inversion of control so generally how we will create an object using new operator but in spring that way of creation is different so we will inject the object using spring context file and that will be that object will be pushed to the actual injection so uh, here uh, who will create the uh, object container will create the object so we are giving the control to the container to create an object and also not only creating an object we have many uh, many users like uh, generally if we go to the new operator uh, we will not see whether object is already available or not so that kind of uh, users we have with IOC but we will keep that aside but here IOC is creating an object for us that control we are giving to the IOC that is called inversion of controller and what is DI dependency injection way of injecting properties so uh, for example we have an object that is injected by the other class so that way of injection so we, you are create uh, you are injecting object through constructor injection or setter or getter injection or interface of course third one we are not uh, spring is not supporting so this way of injection is called uh, dependency injection Way of, create, uh, way of injection is called DI uh, giving control to the container to create an object is called IOC inversion of control so uh, let's see one example how it will be uh, I have a one class uh, controller class Uh, I have a controller class this is inject uh, this one have uh, injection by uh, product service and uh, this one have a DAO class we are injecting DAO to product uh, services that product service injected to home controller here uh, we are injecting one of ob uh, one object to other object so we are not creating IOC is creating how IOC is creating using DI so this is so we will go to very deep so uh, injection will happen through uh, application context.xml see how it is created this is my controller class this is using service which uh, this is my service which is injected uh, injection uh, which is using injection for DAO so this is my DAO I have so if I don't have this one so how will create and one more thing one more thing I want to tell here is how injection is happening DAO what way of it is property injection okay this is not the construction constructor so property injection nothing but setter getter so how it is see we are setting object via spring context uh, spring context application so this is called so if this is not there how will create see 
uh, I have a product service if I don't use uh, uh, spring context file how it will be so already object is there now it will not accept so I will create as a new so this is my uh, this is my object creation so service 1 equal to new product service so this will be taken care by IOC so object will be created by IOC so uh, um, before going to create an object so what we have to do I mean to fulfill the object creation what we have to do is we have to set the uh, object which is using by service so we will see service what object have set DAO of course before going to that we have to create DAO also but just wanted to show you here so this is So this will be the this will be handled by DI. So instead of we are creating controller, controller will take uh, IOC will take the controller to create an object. So this is IOC will take care if we are if we use a spring IOC. And what kind of injection will be nothing but whatever properties are there to set those properties uh, via way of dependency injection whether it is property injection or constructor injection that is called di so this is this is difference between ioc and di i hope you understand so these two are just for your understanding i have created thank you